everybody. Ten seconds to air. Ten, Ten seconds. What was your awareness of how um, these two men worked together? What, what was the process, for instance? Well, Oscar wrote the lyrics first. Always. always huh? uh, prior to that, they had spent a great deal of time talking about the scene that the song was going to go in, yeah. uh, who was singing it, yeah. what the underlying emotion was, probably even what um, tempo it was. Mm. Uh, and then Oscar would go off to Bucks County, and he had a writing desk, didn't he, Alice? He did. He, had a, he wrote standing up when he wasn't walking around the meadow. And uh, when he finished the lyric, which would take him a good long time, lyrics are hard and no fun, uh, he would either phone it in to Daddy, who was in New York or Fairfield, Connecticut, or I guess even mail it in. Yeah. But it was not two happy guys in the same room laughing and scratching. Banging and out a tin turning pan out. Out. <laughs> it, it was It was hard work. As far as the working process, I did know that he walked a lot to get to know his characters. Yeah. And nobody was supposed to go along with that either. And we, but he was just pacing around? No, well, he did that. But he walked around the countryside. I and see. got to know. He probably learned the dialects that he. Oh, oh really? I oh, don't that's, know. Oh, he would go to the so. He would, so the, the, he would pretend that he was walking with them. There's a golden haze on the meadow, yeah. <laughs> right? Uh -huh. that, right. Yeah. That's interesting. So he really learned how they talked, and then he would pick up the lingo too and put that in. I guess, yeah. When I heard this crazy story that you weren't allowed to whistle in the house. Yeah. Well, yeah. He said, "Please don't whistle or sing." He would say that to the maid, too. Yeah. You know, he left the door open when he was writing, and we could hear it. And the only time when it was annoying was when he was making a manuscript, because that's torture for him and for us. He had a card table next to the piano, and he would write down what he'd written, but it takes forever. And you hear the same bar over and over and over well, again. He, he, when he was composing it, he wouldn't write no. anything until he no, had it. No, he didn't And then he could to. just play the whole thing. And yeah, then he but had to then he had the dirty work. Yeah. And he used to say, oh, if somebody would just invent a musical typewriter, mm. if he could see what goes on now. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. Well, what about when you see this production, which is brilliant to me I, I, it, mm. and, and it calls up for somebody who was around when the first production was done it, and when it was a part of my life to mm. hear it, to hear that music all the time, to see that story, to resonate to the story. As soon as the, the, the overture started mm -hmm. when I saw this, I started bawling. Yeah, that's what happened to Happened us. to both of us. When yeah. we heard the first rehearsal of the orchestra yeah. in a big room, it wasn't on the stage, we were yeah. invited. And we were sitting next to each other and talking or something. Then they started the orchestra and those first three notes, and we held hands. We yeah. are not <laughs> particularly demonstrative emotionally. And I think it was quite a thing. I think, yeah. I don't know what Mary thought, but I thought of our fathers and how they would have want, loved to have been there. Yeah. I missed them and I was very proud. I don't know how what you were felt. you thinking? I was thinking that it sounded very good. Yeah. And uh, we had already been told about how the opening of the show officially would look, but we were not prepared. I certainly wasn't for that thing where the stage moves back and there yeah. is an enormous orchestra. Oh, just and nobody gets that anymore. That no. The public doesn't get that. 30-piece orchestra, yeah. you don't hear Boy, that. they applauded. Yeah. And mm. everybody who's, who sees that show mm -hmm. loves to tell me either how many times they've seen yeah, it yeah. or that they cried all the way through it. I know, I know. Either I one was pleasurable to listen to. <laughs> but the, it was in that opening moment. It's a celebration uh, of the, theater, the, 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 the play and the theater itself and yeah. music and, and storytelling. There is, you just, 
you look at it and you think, this is why we get together in the dark like this. <laughs> right. <laughs>